you know, not great, not horrible. Um, graphically, how it looks, you know, I, I'm I'm digging it. Uh, it's definitely not the best looking game I've seen out there, uh, but it is probably the best looking golf game we've seen to date. The only, you know, there's the club that exists on uh, Xbox One and PC, which is a Unity engine based game. It looks pretty decent. But there's some times in this that uh, it really showcases uh, some beauty with the lighting and the, the textures. There's some weird pop in. There's like random creatures roaming some of these golf courses. You'll just see like some deer or foxes and stuff pop up. Um, but overall, it's it's it pretty serviceable and uh, definitely the Frostbite engine I think serves the game well. So let's play a couple holes here and uh, see what happens as we're on hole six. Like I said, I've, I've probably played, I don't know, 12 tournaments at this point. My, my, your guy levels up every time, um, like level 32, 33. Uh, as you level up, you earn attribute points automatically. I think it's kind of based on how you did some of the shots you've completed and stuff like that. Uh, so we got a bit of a headwind here, and we want to try and avoid that left side a little bit. And we're up about a foot, so we're going to go a little bit further. We're going to give it a little bit more. And you can put things like backspin on the ball or topspin or whatever and change your shot type. But, oh boy, see I shanked it too, because I was trying to talk and play. Ugly, ugly. It's alright, let's put it on the green. So one thing I've had happen... Uh, in terms of like sand shots and some, you know, if you go out of bounds and, and really miss your shot, you, you can literally just get stuck because the game doesn't give you the ability to like get a good lie to position your, your, your guy. He'll, he'll stand funny no matter what swing type you pick. He just won't get under the ball and uh, get out of trouble. Um, so that's kind of annoying. I've had that happen a couple times, especially on that battlefield course. Come on, you got to run to the cop. That was ugly. But everything you do, you get experience for. Even bogey, hole complete. Get some stuff. Moving on. So it's the Players' Championship. Pretty big uh, tourney here. First major I think I've played. Maybe it's not actually the Players' Championship, it's just at TPC Soccer. What's going on with my uh, shots? Oh, boy. Guess I can't handle the pressure of uh, live television here. Live internet streaming, whatever you want to call this. We got. Uh, I'm liking. I think we wait. So the the shot power and stuff is all. It's mostly automatic. Um, you can tweak it your your swing speed and stuff like that to kind of place it nicely. But wherever you're aiming, your guy's gonna automatically choke up on it. You don't have to try and figure out what a 75% swing is uh, on an analog stick, which is, which is kind of yeah. Kind of nice. Man, this is an ugly start to the round. Let's see if we can regain some composure here. The uh, pin positions have been really difficult here. So. Everything guarded. Bite. Holy moly, Nick. So you can see I've only got two holes left actually in this round. Uh, and the way things are going, I'm not even going to make the cut, so it doesn't matter. But come on. All right. Let's safe par and move along. 
Moving along. We got a par five. Let's see what we can do here. We got a lot of wind coming from the left. There we go. Good swing. Winch carried over, shortening up a bit. But the hole is 600 yards, so it ain't gonna make it in the. Ain't gonna be making it in two. That's for sure. So I'll we'll let the wind carry it all, off there to the middle. It's just coming left to right. And, uh. Yeah, that'll play. It almost takes the, the bunkers out of play, too, with being in the middle of the fairway there. But. This is going to be difficult with the wind, and the, the, the ball's uh, going to roll to the right too, so let's just see what happens. Bite, bite, yes, there we go. Nice birdie approach, or putt here. We'll take it, we'll take it. So I should have well, one hole left. Nope, that was it. So you can see it kind of cuts you short. Um, you can quickly play through your tournament because of that. But uh, yeah, so you got a little bit of bonuses. There's uh, some unlocks. You can see I unlock some equipment. We'll go look at my golfer, see what we can customize a bit. You can actually pick outfits based on the day. So you can have a, a different outfit for sure. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is pretty neat. Um, and there, there's a lot of uh, equipment and bonuses and stuff you can get. Uh, luckily, the game does a nice job of uh, just if you don't feel like messing with it, you can just auto equip uh, the current best gear. So you tend to do that after uh, every couple of uh, rounds of play. Um, so let's, before we continue, let's go back and you can see we got equipment. So you you know you can adjust individually what you're looking for, um, you know. None of these seem to do much. You see a lot of these are high level things like a 96. Some of them are based on stars. Um, I just do optimize. And off she goes. Uh, outfits. We'll take a look at some of. The, some of that there. Uh, so my Friday outfit, I'm not a fan of this shirt. There wasn't any choose from in the beginning. So let's see what I've unlocked. Got some nice ugly orange stuff. Oh, look at that stripey purple. Lots of EA Sports branding. It's in the game. I'm going with the, the pink and gray sweat. I mean, look at that. That's snazzy, right? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's Rory McIlroy, PGA Tour. I think it's solid. I, I don't know if it's going to be worth the, the $60 they're asking. Um, but if you can get a deal on it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a solid addition to the series. The, the fantasy courses are a nice touch and a good distraction. Um, and you know what? The, the pro mode, even though you're not necessarily always playing 18, uh, it's pretty cool. I like being able to play through a lot of the tournaments faster and work your way through a season faster. So, that's that. I will uh, thank you for watching.